Welcome to the Argonaut High School Local Scholarship Night for the 2020-2021 school year. My name is Troy Gassaway, Principal of Argonaut High School. I would like to welcome and congratulate all of our deserving seniors and applaud them for putting themselves in position to receive a scholarship tonight. I would also like to welcome our generous donors and organizations that made this event possible. Without you, there would be no scholarship night. Your efforts to support our kids is noticed and appreciated. Thank you. Before we start, I would like to extend a bit of gratitude to two people that helped make this event possible. Jennifer Putnam, our scholarship coordinator, and Matt King, our video producer. Thank you both for making sure our community was again able to hold such an important event for our Argonaut High School seniors and their families. This year, due to the global pandemic, we've all faced many more challenges than in years past. This year has been difficult for our students, teachers, classified staff, and school leaders. This year, more than ever, support is needed to launch our seniors towards college and career success. That being said, tonight we are going to observe the res resilience of the Amador County through the support of our local youth by over 60 organizations awarding many of our students with over $100,000 in scholarships. On behalf of Argonaut High School and the Amador County Unified School District, and Amador County, thank you. Go Mustangs. I am Anna Jones Williams and I am happy to present scholarships on behalf of the Amador branch of American Association of University Women. AAUW seeks to promote educational and employment equality through our scholarship programs for women and girls. Each year, we support scholarships for Tech Trek, Math and Science Camp, for community college students, and for upper division and graduate studies students, as well as women re-entering college later in life. This year, we are pleased to present $500 scholarships each to Haley Vasco and Samantha Lungaro. Good evening. As president for the 1,400 members, of the Amador County Farm Bureau, we're part of the 15 million members of the American Farm Bureau Federation, providing the safest, the most secure, the most available and abundant food supply in the world. This scholarship is based on an individual's creativity, dedication, efficiency, and leadership within agriculture that excelled beyond the farm gate. He's been avid in athletics, matter of fact, the MVP, enjoys snowmobiling, 4-H, and travel. While you're at Cal Poly, keep following the advice as you have over past years of Napoleon Hill. Therefore, it is my pleasure to extend a legacy of $500 to Mr. Cameron Swingle. This scholarship reflects an individual's fortitude for academia and agricultural involvement. He's been active in athletics, 4-H, FFA, fishing, and enjoys engines. He plans to attend Modesto JC, and then transfer to a four-year college to focus on mechanized agriculture. This is someone who can not only give back, but somebody who can give forward. Therefore, it is my pleasure as president for the 1,400 members of the Amateur County Farm Bureau Federation to extend the legacy of $500 to Mr. Garrett Elmore. Hello, I'm Scott Huckins. I'm the president of the Amateur County Teachers Association. And this year, it is our pleasure to award Sharice Carney the active scholarship. Now, when I looked at Sharice's application, the one thing that popped out to me was the word kind-hearted. Sharice is a very kind, generous young woman, and it is a joy for us to know that she will be headed into the educational field. Um, Sharice, just so you know, the scholarship you won is all the red pens you need for your lifetime in education. Just kidding, there's some money involved too. Thank you, Sharice, and good luck to you. Go. Hello, everyone. I'm Nina Coffaberry and I'm a member of Ursula Parlor Number no. 1, Native Daughters of the Golden West, here in Jackson. We are excited to award our annual scholarship this year in the amount of $1,000. The recipient, a young lady whose achievements and accomplishments are most impressive. Her career choice, commendable. We wish her much success as she pursues her path to become a nurse. Congratulations, Casey White. Casey, an awards letter 
along with a certificate will be mailed to you. Hey guys, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Josh Sullivan, the commander at Air Force ROTC Detachment 045 at San Jose State University. I'd like to announce and congratulate Delilah Bridges for winning a scholarship to San Jose State and our detachment for upwards of $72,000 in four years of tuition. She was awarded this scholarship based on her well-roundedness in GPA, extracurricular activities, and overall leadership potential deemed from a one-on-one -on -one interview with an Air Force officer. This will allow her to obtain a bachelor's degree in whatever she chooses while she competes to become an officer in the United States Air Force or the United States Space Force. Delilah, congratulations, and we look forward to meeting you this fall. Hi, I'm Angela Mayfield. I'm the agriculture teacher and FFA advisor at Argonaut. I am excited to share the Amador County Ag Boosters Scholarship recipient for this year. Ag Boosters is an organization that raises money to support students at Amador and Argonaut, and we're so thankful for the community support. This year's recipient of a $1,000 scholarship has been really involved in FFA activities, in competitions, and in raising livestock. Congratulations on your scholarship, Mr. Garrett Elmore. Hello, it's an honor to present this scholarship award on behalf of Signal Service. We are a local alarm company that has been protecting the community since 1976. Each year our selections committee re reviews the applicants and selects one based on community involvement, extracurricular activity, um, and personal growth. Uh, this year it's our honor to present the award to Casey White. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Valerie Davidson, the art teacher at Argonaut High School. I am honored and grateful to present the our Amador Arts Council Arts Scholarship for $1,000. Amador County Arts Council is the local partner for state and federal art funds. They proudly re-grant funds to scholarship recipients who demonstrate a strong commitment to the arts. The student that will receive this scholarship has shown an incredible amount of focus and determination in all things art. No art project was too big or too tough for this student. Achieving new experiences in art is apparent in the work completed. The challenge to expand ability was always met with enthusiasm and respect. I am so happy to present Maria Estrada with this generous scholarship. Maria has worked hard and I have no doubt that she will meet every opportunity in her post high school life as she has here at Argonaut with excellence and integrity. Congratulations, Maria. Oh, on behalf of the Amateur County Board of Supervisors, I would like to congratulate Cherise Carney as the 2021 recipient of the Amateur County Board of Supervisors scholarship in the amount of $1,000. We wish you the best in all of your future endeavors. Good evening. My name is Nick Ragasano. I am the chairman of the scholarship committee of the Amador County Council 1849 Knights of Columbus. We are pleased to announce that a very fine student from Argonaut High School has met and exceeded the critical standards set for the council's scholarship. When looking at applications, the scholarship committee seeks applicants who promote the key goal of the Knights of Columbus, in service to one, in service to all. This standard goes beyond just the high academic history. It looks for the future aspirations of the candidate concerning service to the community. The Knights of Columbus was founded in 1882 by Michael J. McGivney, a parish priest in a small parish church in Connecticut. He saw the injustice towards Irish immigrants and the harsh reality that many men and families suffered at the hands of discriminatory policies. The newly formed Knights of Columbus provided a safety net to those in the harsh situations of the late 1800s Industrial Revolution. From those humble beginnings, the Knights of Columbus has grown to over 1.9 million men in over 15,900 councils throughout the world. 
Its motto of in service to one, in service to all, has been shown in the millions of dollars of relief provided directly to individuals who have suffered devastation from natural disasters and other conditions that have befallen on people wherever they might live. Our applicant has shown through her record of service that she understands and lives those ideals. Her list of services to her church and community amounts to almost 200 hours during her four years of high school. Her commitment to improving herself and those around her are a model of behavior for others to follow. It is with great respect and humility that the Amateur County Council 1849 Knights of Columbus awards its $1,000 scholarship to Miss Mia Huss. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Laura Dillion and I am Argonaut High School's Registrar. As a classified employee, I am also a member of the California State Employees Association number 239 and I am here tonight to present the CSEA 239 Scholarship for 2021. Each year we are fortunate to be able to award a classified employee's son or daughter. Understandably, we normally give out a single award, but this year is different. This year we are able to present three scholarships for three seniors. Each student will receive a $500 scholarship. This year we award to Isaiah Cortez, a four-year baseball player on campus and in travel baseball while on honor roll and earning academic excellence for all four years. He was an assistant coach for the Amateur County Little League and he was an umpire too. Zach Hernandez. He is a student who has been seen on the school's website morning announcements as well as playing football and track for all four years and being a member of FFA and ASB for all four years while being an active member of the student government. He has excelled as a student and a class leader. And Caden Winther, who as a volunteer at Jackson Elementary, found it his personal mission to help someone else who was struggling. As stated by his teacher, Caden is driven to do well. He played all four years in golf, football, and wrestling, earning a 3.8 GPA. We are proud this year to award some of our most notable of our community and to wish them a fine future. Thank you, Isaiah, Zach, and Caden. Hello, my name is Sarah Yonan and I'm the Argonaut High School Counselor for students with the last name A through K. On behalf of the Amador County Sheriff's Office Association and Officer Christopher Holston, I would like to congratulate our senior student, Garrett Elmore, on receiving the ACSOA $1,000 scholarship for 2021. We are proud of Garrett as over the last four years, Garrett has worked hard to receive over a 3.4 total GPA, played football for all four years, and has a history of working hard in the field of mechanics inside and outside of school. Congratulations, Garrett. Hi, I'm Angela Mayfield, Ag Teacher at Argonaut, here to share the Amador County Wine Grape Growers Association Scholarship. This year's recipient is a very active member in Argonaut FFA, and this $1,000 scholarship goes to Garrett Elmore. Hi, this is Leanne, and I'm coming to you from Dillion National Park outside of Plymouth, California. Uh, I work on a project called the Amador Promise Fund, and it started out as a partnership between the um, school district and the community foundation to raise money for uh, everyone to be able to have a chance to go to college, either vocational, two-year, or four-year college. And um, we started giving away um, scholarship awards last year. This is our second year, and we're awarding $1,500 this year to wonderful Aaron Onetto at Argonaut. Um, I loved Aaron because of his good grades. His community service was amazing. He uh, did the drone flying for sports at Argonaut. He did live streaming for the Catholic Church. He played sports himself and he worked at KVGC Radio where Jim Geedy called him somebody with the right stuff. And I totally agree. He also participated in FFA and is a 
member of a big, busy family. I think that Consumnes River College will be lucky to have Erin in the fall. And also this year, I want to thank our major donors to the Promise Fund. Anyone can donate through the Community Foundation. Our original donors are the Dave and Corey Tierpak family, the Erin and Alice Jobson family, the Amador High class of 67, uh, Larry and Linda Long, uh, Jim and Susie Golette, and our biggest contributor and a yearly contributor is Larry Turley of Turley Wines. Um, don't forget when you're through with school and you start your career to give back. If you can give to the Promise Fund, that would be great. So congrats and thanks. Hi. I'm Ernie Jettis. I'm the current commander for American Legion Post 108. Uh, we're delighted to award scholarships to deserving senior high school uh, members for the first time. The American Legion is the largest veterans organization in the world. Its four areas of focus are veteran assistance, children and youth, Americanism, and national security. By awarding this scholarship, Amateur Post 108 is fulfilling its promise to support children and youth. Further, this year's uh, scholarship is given in the name of Harlan Rader, a 20-year veteran uh, member who recently passed away. The recipients of the American Legion Amador Post 108 Scholarship in honor of Harlan Rader for the amount of $2,000 is Kaylani Lundergan. Congratulations to you. It is our hope that this uh, scholarship will assist you in all your future endeavors. Again, congratulations. Hey, this award, named after my grandparents in honor of my mother, goes to a student who shows the traits of kindness, generosity, caring, and selflessness. This year's award was largely funded by the golf abilities of Bo Gilman of Matic Vukovic Insurance. Thank you, Bo. He has a tough time with number 8 and 18 at Castle Oaks if you're ever playing with him for money. This award goes to a student who is generous, not just with their money, but also with their time for others. Generous like Erica and Chad Simmons and Nicole and Dave Armstrong, who quietly continue to give to our Argonaut community. Generous like every person that is presenting or group that is presenting tonight at our awards ceremony. And every business who has a banner in our gym or on our fields. Thank you. The winner of this award is not the person passing you at the end of the merge lane only to get behind the 20 cars that are in front of you, but instead is the person at a four-way stop who waves you along to say go ahead even though you both arrived at the same time. The winner of this award did not buy more, to more toilet paper and Clorox wipes than were needed last year. They left some for the next person, even though it may have only been single ply. The winner of this award knows the value of family and will sacrifice a night out with their friends to go to Aunt Sally's 80th birthday without raising a fuss. The winner of this award does not expect things to be given to them. They recognize what their caregivers have sacrificed for them and appreciate the love that they receive the most of all. The winner of this award does not get on social media, social media to belittle others. Instead, their posts are positive usually with a message containing congratulations or great job. The winner of this award is a great friend to many, a great son or daughter, grandchild, brother or sister, and an outstanding contributing member of our community. The winner of this award is Sharice Carney. Congratulations and thank you. Good evening everyone, my name is Dan Adam. I'm here to award three $1,000 scholarships in memory of my wife, Annette. This is our fourth year, and in the past we've given two. But with everything you guys are going through this year, we thought you could use a little good news. Plus, one of the most important things I learned from Annette is that if you can do the right thing, you should. Annette was the secretary at Argonaut from 2008 to 2015, and scholarship night was her favorite school function. She loved to see all of the kids looking good and being grateful. 
but especially love to see deserving students get recognized that are outside of sports or the top 10. A little bit about her, and again, I think it's ridiculous to try to describe her in 20 seconds, but she was born and raised right here in Jackson, went through all three Jackson schools. We started dating our senior year, and in 1983, we walked together in Jackson High School's final graduation ceremony. We built a home here and raised four kids up through the same schools. She was the kindest, gentlest, and most capable person I've ever known. After her death, Susan Zaffirano approached me and asked if her and Steve, the Reebies, Davises, and Ellisons could throw a fundraiser and start a scholarship. I agreed. They organized a one-night event at Mel's that raised around $12,000, and that fund is still growing. So thank you all. The criteria for this scholarship was easy. Someone like her. Kind, caring, giving, self-supportive, first-generation college student, and open to all, to all who need support. So with the help of Susan, Janice, Clarissa, BJ, and Leanne, we selected three deserving recipients. Ali Oliveria, Chloe Hatton, and Casey White. Thank you. Hey everyone, my name is Mr. Carquet. I am the band teacher at Argonaut High School, and it is my absolute pleasure to award the Argonaut High School Band Booster Scholarship to a particular student. The student is incredibly talented, and I don't mean this in just the musical sense. Um, this student has shown uh, talent in more ways than just skill. Uh, this student is phenomenal in athletics. This student is phenomenal musically. This student is phenomenal academically. This student is phenomenal socially. This student has, um, I don't think I've ever seen anyone act ill towards this person. I don't think I've ever seen this person act ill towards anyone. Um, this person has a wonderful sense of humor. This person is very sociable. This person's a natural leader. This person is gravitational in how others interact with them. Um, and I'm very proud to have known this person um, for the past three years of my uh, teaching here at Argonaut High School. I'm very thankful to have had this person because through her leadership, um, she's guided others towards a more successful path. And I know that when she goes off onto college, and I know that when she goes off into the future, she will follow those trends, she will follow those um, patterns that she's laid out for herself, and she will have a phenomenal time in the real world. So, on behalf of the Argonaut High School Band Booster Scholarship, I present the award to Anna Rose for her excellence and dedication in music. Congratulations, Anna. Hope you enjoy it. Hi, my name is Marianne Bourgeois, and I'm the president of Amateur County Women's Network. I am honored this year to award the scholarships to Amador County's deserving youth. This young woman has demonstrated the discipline required to maintain good grades while participating in school organizations, community events, and even working. We hope our scholarship will ease a little of the financial burden and allow her the freedom to explore her future. The recipient for Argonaut High School is Kate Johnson of $1,000. Congratulations to you, Kate, and the best of luck. Hi, my name is Valerie Davidson. I am the art teacher at Argonaut High School. The Imagine It Scholarship is from the Art Club, and it's for a senior who has stood out in the field of art. The scholarship is to award a student that has used creative and artistic skill as an outlet for positivity and stamina. In spite of this challenging year, this student remained focused and determined. No roadblock has kept this student from participating in any opportunity to allow art to be his guide. It is said that good art is good medicine and has a tremendous healing component. The affected isn't always just the artist. The student awarded this scholarship has provided many with an uplifting confidence to continue the path and just imagine excellence. I am extremely proud to award Luke Johnson with the $1,000 Imagine It Argonaut Art Club Scholarship this year. His art participation, his eagerness to learn and achieve excellence through his art, and his kind and giving nature to help others learn is just a sample of the incredible life this young man is headed toward. I have no problem imagining his artistic ability will touch many lives in a positive way. It has been an honor 
to spend many hours in the art room with Luke Johnson and smile in awe of his tremendous talent and gift. Congratulations, Luke. Hi, I'm Pat Holland of the Bird Rattel, Rattel Scholarship Committee. Seven years ago, Bill Rattel of Seattle decided to honor his late mother, Rose Bird, who graduated over 100 years ago from then Jackson Union High School. Bill donated 20% of his estate, which turned out to be $474,000, to an Amador Community Foundation Fund, which gives scholarships each year to graduating Argonaut seniors. Since then, the fund has told, become $645,000 with over $150,000 of scholarships awarded, including tonight's awardees. Uh, three members of the committee are Bo Gilman, a local businessman, Chris Lucky, a longtime Argonaut teacher, and myself who graduated from Jackson Union High School in 1961. Chris will now read this year's winners. Well, first off, I'd like to congratulate all the um, awardees tonight and the class of 2021 for a, um, uh, a great uh, high school career, and um, these awards are well-deserved. Um, this evening, we will be giving away $30,000 in scholarships. The first three awardees will be awarded $2,000 each for, their, for furthering their education. Those winners are Lauren Bierman, Anna Rose and Caden Winther. The next three award winners will each receive $3,000 to further their education. And those winners are Connor Brown, Kate Johnson, and Luke Johnson. And finally, we are extremely proud to present $5,000 to the following three students, and they are Sharice Carney, Grace Erickson, and Andre King. Congratulations to all the recipients of the Bird Rattel Scholarship. The Amador County Association of Realtors are fortunate to have had Bob Wynn as their executive officer, leader, and mentor during his many years of service. The Amador County Association of Realtors seek to award scholarships to students who are performing well academically and who demonstrate character in their life through service to the community, sports, school government, and activities. In addition, the candidate must be a family member of an ACAR realtor. This year, for the Bob Wynn Memorial Scholarship, the ACAR will be giving $750 to each of these students. Cameron Swingle, Aaron Thompson, and Emily Thompson. Congratulations to each of you and best of luck. Hello, my name is Drew Valpando and I am here on behalf of the City Church of Jackson, California. We entrusted the Fine Scholarship Committee of Organot High School to select two students with strong character as defined by their honesty, responsibility, and compassion for others. The committee has made an excellent choice and it is our extreme honor to present two $500 scholarships to Gabriela Treviso and Devon Lockhart. On behalf of the entire church body, we wish you both success in your pursuit of education. Your incredible hard work and dedication throughout high school is truly commendable. May God bless you both. Okay, my name is Mike Roots. I am giving the Mark Giannini Memorial Athletic Scholarship um, or presenting it. Uh, this is awarded to selected basketball players to honor the generosity of Mark Giannini and his impact on the girls basketball program. This year there are two recipients that both led by example on campus and on the court uh, they showed tremendous heart and hustle on the court. They always leave everything they have on the court at practice and at games. And they never quit on themselves or their teammates. So this year, this award is going to Lauren Bierman and Sharice Carney. These players 
have both played in three section title games, winning the last two. Uh, they were MLL champions last year, and um, they have both been the MLL, oh, wait, no, one was the MLL Defensive Player of the Year the last two years, and one had the Character Award the last two years for in, in the All-League selections. They've both been team captains for the last two years, um, and they're the only ones that will understand this, but they both got the Hustle Award last year nine times. So their impact on our game, the, the way we play and what we try to do, their effort and their attitude and their overall leadership, led by example, being the hardest workers on the floor, is why they are receiving the Mark Giannini Athletic Scholarship. Hi everyone, it's Coach Dugan here. I'm here to present the uh, Go the Distance Argonaut Cross Country Award. This is the fifth year we've given away this award and it's grown from 100 to 200 and this year $500 scholarship award to one of our seniors from the cross country team who embodies the spirit of the program, hard work, persistence, dedication, and just a love for running. Someone who has passed those lessons down to younger runners. Easy decision this year. The award goes to Anna Rose who I remember as an eighth grader outside of Jackson Junior High, wide-eyed and nervous, starting to run with us. And through her freshman year, just proved to be an amazing talent. But beyond that, she has such a big heart and she has such a ability to push through pain and, and to push beyond what her, she thinks her limits are. And that's what cross country is all about. I remember her sophomore year running over the summer she came up to me as we were jogging along and just as she's gonna ask if she can run varsity that year she stumbles and twists her ankle an injury she had to deal with all year long but still was only the second female to make the state meet in Argonaut history and the first female the next year to place as high as she did broke the 5k record under 20 minutes um, has broken many records since um, and is someone who I will personally miss and I've grown to love over the years. So congratulations, Anna. I'm proud of you. Coach Putnam is proud of you. And it just goes to show that with hard work and determination, you can summit any mountain you climb. My name is Jamie Hatton. I'm representing CSEA Chapter 827, California Schools Employees Association. I'm here to award this year's scholarship to Kaylani Landrigan. Kaylani has been involved with uh, FFA, Circle of Friends, basketball, volleyball, wrestling, and track, and has also held down a full-time, part-time job throughout her four years here at Argonaut. With her lifetime of helping others, she has plans to become a paramedic in her future. We wish her well. Kailani Landergan, congratulations. The Dick Mangum Memorial Resource Conservation Scholarship is given through the Amateur Resource Conservation District. Applicants must be planning on pursuing a career in natural resource conservation, forestry, wildlife management, soil science, range management, conservation biology, watershed management, agriculture, or animal husbandry. Applicants wrote an essay on how this field was valuable to them and how they planned on working in the field. This year's winner is senior Anna Rose. Congratulations to you, Anna. Good evening. My name is Kathleen Harmon. I am the executive director of the Amateur Community Foundation. Tonight, it is my privilege to award the Dr. Floyd Salyer Gallart Scholarship to Serena Rose Wagner. Serena, we will be granting $1,000 to assist you as you pursue your college education. I truly wish I could be there in person to shake your hand and congratulate you for a job well done these last four years. The Amateur Community Foundation is truly honored to participate financially in your future. Good evening. My name is Kathleen Harmon. I am the Executive Director of the Amador Community Foundation. 
Tonight, it is my privilege to award the Dr. Floyd Salyer Gallart Scholarship to Nayeli Franco Aguayo. Nayeli, we will be granting $1,000 to assist you as you pursue your college education. I truly wish I could be there in person to shake your hand and congratulate you for a job well done these last four years. Amador Community Foundation is truly honored to participate financially in your future. Thanks to the kindness of the Amador Senior Center and the coordination of their staff, their past scholarship was taken on, now being called the Amador Senior Center Scholarship. Through their generosity, they will be awarding one of our students, Casey White. Through her path to nursing, we know she will be a good one. Congratulations, Casey. Hi, Argonaut families. My name is Barbara Magpusau Outland, and I'm from St. Catherine Drexel Catholic Church, Young Ladies Grand Institute, Gemma number 75. I'm the past president, and I'm here to present the recipients of our YLI scholarships. YLI is an organization of Catholic women dedicated to the Christian principles of charity and love. Our purpose is to help others. Our history reflects a sisterly care and concern for each other and for those in need. The students receiving scholarships are given to students who have served the church and will continue to serve others. The award winners for this year are Maria Estrada and Mia Huss. Congratulations and God bless. Hello everyone. I am Pat Crew. I am the current president of Jackson Rotary and I'm honored to be here today to maintain our participation in Amador County Youth and the scholarship programs of the school district. First, I want all Rotarians want to send a warm and hearty congratulations to all the seniors who are graduating in 2021. Here at Argonaut today, I am pleased to announce that the winner of the Jackson Rotary Scholarship for 2021 is Caden Winther. We wish him the best as he embarks on life's journey. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the members of the Italian Benevolent Society, I would like to present our 2021 scholarship for Argonaut High School to Elizabeth Schaefer. We wish to Elizabeth all the best for a bright future. Congratulations again, Elizabeth. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kim Hernandez and I'm presenting the Jack F. Carrera Scholarship. The recipient of the scholarship is selected by the Argonaut Scholarship Committee. Candidates are chosen on the basis of their character, need, and achievements. A candidate who, whether looking from the inside or from the outside looking in, screams, I am Argonaut. I was over the moon when asked to present the scholarship to this year's recipient. I have seen this student flourish in their four years at Argonaut. A friend to everyone, a talented athlete, a dedicated, hardworking ASB member, and crazy antics that could turn anyone's bad day good. It has been an honor to present this scholarship, but it's even more of an honor to present it to this year's recipient, Zachary Hernandez. Good evening, my name is Tim Niddle and I'm the scholarship chairman for the Jackson Lions Club. It is my honor to announce the seven recipients of various scholarships the Lions Club will be awarding to graduating seniors from Argonaut High School. Our first recipient, of a $1,000 scholarship, the Scotty Goulettes Award is Anna Rose. Anna, please stay tuned. There'll be a video message from the Goulettes family after my video. Next, a $1,000 scholarship, the Joe Scheiber Award, will go to Delilah Bridges. Next, a $1,000 Jackson Lions Award will be awarded to Casey White. Next, a $1,000 scholarship, the Fran Viro Award, will go to Caden Winther. A $2,000 Jackson Lions Award will go to Andre King. Next, a $2,000 Jackson Lions Award will go to Sharice Carney. 
And last but not least, a $5,000 scholarship, the Bart Smallfield Award, will go to Samantha Longero. Congratulations to all of our recipients and from the Jackson Lions Club, congratulations to the class of 2021. Hello, my name is Neil Carlson, and I'm pleased to present the Scotty Goulet Scholarship Award on behalf of the Jackson Lions Club and the Goulet family. At two years old, Scotty Goulet, my grandfather, moved to America with his family to escape World War I. The son of a coal miner, Scotty recognized early in life that a good education could open doors, and he believed that education should come from not only books and classwork, but also real world experiences. Scotty was a world traveler, a true adventurer who took every opportunity to explore. He also acknowledged the connection between a healthy body and a strong mind, exercising every morning on his rowing machine, riding horses and playing tennis well into his 80s, among other activities. Although just beginning to put their own stamp on the world, this year's award recipient has exhibited parallels to the virtues held and the life lived by Scotty Gulitz. For many reasons, they were an easy choice. They will be attending a university on the other side of the country so that they will have an opportunity for new adventures and experiences. Their ambition showed clearly through their application letter and the letters of recommendation written on their behalf spoke of this person as a true standout amongst top students, athletes, and perhaps most importantly, as a young leader upon whom we can hang the hopes for our collective future. While graduating near the top of her class, the applicant has also set school records in cross country and, according to her coach, there are no records that are out of her reach. At the same time, this student athlete has shown a determination to strengthen any aspect of themselves, whether physical or intellectual or otherwise. They have also shown an eagerness to improve the lives of others, whether they be classmates, teammates, or children who are following in her footsteps on their paths to earning a black belt in karate. This was the overriding message from those who wrote recommendation letters for her. She is a true gem of a person, the type of person who you only hope to have the opportunity to cross paths with during your life. Our family was aware of this applicant and the fact that she's a special young woman, but her application and the comments from her coaches, instructors, and teachers were simply mind-blowing. And so it is with great honor that I present the Jackson Lions Club Scotty Goulet Scholarship Award for 2021 to Anna Rose. Congratulations, Anna, and good luck on what is certain to be an incredible future. Hi, I'm Colleen Begovich, and I'm here to present the 2021 John Begovich Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship, named for my father-in-law, who also went by Big John, was born and raised in Amador County. He made it his life's ambition to take care of the people who resided here. He was a decorated war hero, he came home after the war to become the veteran service officer, and then went to be justice court judge, state senator, U.S. Marshal, lobbyist, and then he finished his political career being a District 1 supervisor for five terms, where representing the people of Amador County really counted. This year by far is the hardest yet. So many well-deserving students. The letters and essays were both brutally honest and heartwarming. This being our 20th year, we find it becomes more and more personal, knowing grandparents, parents, aunts, uncles, and friends of students in this class. One in particular touched us. We find this student to be well-deserving, but yet also, even though they had the qualifications, had to work hard to get there. I am wishing the entire class of 2021 the best of luck in their endeavors, but we want Ellie Schaefer to shine bright and make all of us very proud. Ellie Schaefer, $1,000 scholarship. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Kathleen Harmon. I am the executive director of the Amador Community Foundation. Tonight, it is my privilege to award the Ken Blake Memorial Scholarship to three deserving students, Hannah Riley, Anna Rose, and Luke Johnson. Hannah will receive 1,000, Anna will receive 500, and Luke 500. This grant is to assist you as you pursue your college education. I love scholarship night and truly wish I could be there to shake your hand in person. Please know that the Amador Community Foundation is truly honored to participate in your future.
Gorgeous. And our winner is Gage Roddy. Congratulations. Yeah. Kick Carson right, Mountain Man. Man. This is Debbie Blassingame. I'm Jane Gleason. I'm Roberta Ross. We are the scholarship committee for the Kiwanis Club of Amador County. Yay. And we're happy to announce our 2021 awardees. Our first awardee is Isaiah Cortez from Argonaut. He ranks. Wait a minute, what number am I? You're three. I'm three. Okay. Three, one. And that total six. Yay! Our second awardee is Garrett Gilmore. Elmore. Elmore, Elmore, sorry, Garrett. And he ranks. Yay! Hello, my name is Adam Gottstein and I represent the Lynette Lip Music Scholarship Fund. This year's recipient from Argonaut High School is rated number one out of his class of 133. His scholastic abilities are phenomenal with his cumulative GPA score of 4.3. He's been active as a multi-sport athlete, Involved in the student body, elected twice as president in his four-year academic run at Argonaut, an AP scholar, as well as starting and running his own landscaping company. He intends to enter a four-year college with music as his minor, where he would like to pursue jazz. We are proud to award a $500 Lynette Lip Music Scholarship Fund to Andre King. Congratulations, best of luck, and a lot of hard work, Andre. Make us proud. Hi, I'm Linda Daly, and I am honored to present this year's 2001 Michael Daly Memorial Scholarship to Sharice Carney. Congratulations, Sharice. We're so proud of you. The scholarship is for $1,000, and we know you are going to do wonderful things moving forward. Congratulations, Sharice. Hello, Argonaut High School. My name is Brandi Hawkins and I'm the Registrar for Motherload Youth Soccer League. This year, we are awarding our scholarship to Casey White. Congratulations, graduates. Hello, I'm Sarah Yonan and I'm a counselor at Argonaut High School. I'm here today to present the Motivate Our Youth Scholarship. For a few years now, we have been fortunate to have our student athletes be the lucky recipients from a past graduate and a personal friend of mine, Dominic Vicari, who started his own business, Motivate Personal Fitness Academy in Sutter Creek, and wanted to give back. I'm here to present to you two individuals. This award is meant for students who have inspired their peers, worked hard, and even been captains of their team, and received marks in the top of their class. This award is important to everyone at Motivate because they believe these students are going on to do great things and that they will continue to motivate others, not only their peers, but the community as well. We would like to award the first scholarship to Isabella Oliveria, and their second scholarship goes to Andre King. Thank you for being what it means to motivate our youth. Good luck and we are all so proud of you. Hello, I'm Sue McElwee, here with Lynn Worsham and Arlene Dutchke, representing the local chapter of PEO, the ed uh, Philanthropic Educational Organization. This is a nonprofit group dedicated to celebrating the advancement of women through scholarships, grants, awards, loans, and the stewardship of Cotty College. Our goal is to motivate women to achieve their highest aspirations. Please, for more information, please see our website. PEO Chapter JM in Jackson started a local scholarship several years ago. Now it's called the Dottie Derry PEO Scholarship to honor the amazing life of a local PEO sister who lived a life true to herself with humor, love, and a strong sense of adventure. 
Our chapter sought a scholarship candidate who demonstrates excellence in character, integrity, and scholastic ability. The candidate we sought was to be an enthusiastic learner with a goal to achieve, exemplifying our PEO ideals of sincerity, empathy, kindness, maturity, and social responsibility. We understand that our recipient fulfills the quality we were seeking. We are delighted to award $750 from the local PEO Chapter JM of, of Jackson to Miss Kate Johnson. Kate, congratulations on your achievements here at Argonaut. We applaud you for all you've accomplished, wish you much success during your college years, and hope that you will stay in touch with us as you reach for the stars in the coming years. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, Kate. Hello, my name is Elisa Cabri. I'm representing the Argonaut Quarterback Club. This year we have four recipients for our scholarship. They are Sharice Carney, Casey White, Caden Winther, and Zach Hernandez. Congratulations to all four of you. The Quarterback Club wishes you a very bright future. Thank you. Hello, I am Sarah Yonan and I am one of the counselors at Argonaut High School. I'm here to present the scholarships for the Rotary Club of Amador Upcountry. Rotary Club of Amador Upcountry are people of action with hearts of service who build friendships and work together to do good. Chartered in 1984, Rotary Club of Amador Upcountry is a service club representing business and professions in the area of primarily Pine Grove, Pioneer, and Volcano, although they welcome membership from all over the county. This club is part of District 1590, the largest geographical rotary district in the continental U.S., encompassing 54 clubs across Northern California and Western Nevada, and forms a global network of business and professional leaders, all volunteering their time and talents to serve their communities and the world. This year, their local scholarships for $500 are being awarded to Samantha Longero and Cameron Swingle. Congratulations to you both. Good evening and congratulations to the 2021 Argonaut High School Senior Class. My name is Tacey Onetto Ruin and I am the Youth Services Chair for ION Rotary. Rotary's mission is to provide service to others, promote integrity, and advance world understanding, goodwill, and peace through our fellowship of business, professional, and community leaders. I own Rotary has a long tradition of completing major construction, construction projects in our community, which is only possible due to member involvement and the generous support from our community partners. We had a number of truly amazing candidates apply for scholarships this year, and we had to make difficult decisions when evaluating academic achievements, need for financial help, community service, school activities and athletics, as well as career goals and personal character. This year, we are fortunate to have the opportunity to give out four scholarships of $1,250 each to the following students who make Ion Rotary very proud. Maria Estrada. Riley Hanna. Haley Vasco, Nayeli Franco Aguayo. Congratulations again to these wonderful students. You will receive a letter and certificate in the mail with instructions on how to obtain your award. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Kathleen Harmon. I am the Executive Director of the Amador Community Foundation. Tonight, it is my privilege to award the Sharon Brown, Suzanne Brown McBride Scholarship to Samantha Longero. Samantha, we will be granting $1,000 to assist you as you pursue your college education. I truly wish I could be there in person to shake your hand and congratulate you for a job well done these last four years. The Amateur Community Foundation is truly honored to participate financially in your future. Hello, my name is Donna Jackson and I'm here today representing Seroptimist International of Amador County. This has been an unusually challenging time for us all. 
Our club is especially honored to be able to participate this year in recognizing these hardworking students who have overcome so many obstacles. If you are watching tonight with your loved ones, congratulations. You have made a difference. You are on the right path. Sir Optimist International of Amador County is pleased to award Casey White of Argonaut High with a $1,000 scholarship. Casey has encountered many struggles and overcome them with hard work, church, and forgiveness. Casey is involved in student government and sports. She has also been very active in community service. She is all that a Sir Optimist embodies. She is working towards a career in nursing and we wish her much success. Congratulations, Casey. Hi, I'm Steve Rout from Volcano Consolidated Masonic Lodge. A hundred years ago, in 1920, the California Grand Lodge in San Francisco created and began Public Schools Week. Today, that's is known as Public Schools Month. In April of, the, of each year, the California Masonic Lodges continue this tradition. Here in Amador County, Volcano Lodge covers Jackson, Sutter Creek, Pioneer, and Pine Grove schools. Our annual activities include our Bikes for Books programs, our cash for elementary school teachers, and our scholarships. Our scholarship is aimed at students who are not planning on attending a four-year college right out of high school. The scholarship is based on needs and responses to questions we ask the students. We offer a two-year stipend of $500 each semester, renewable upon proof of good student grades. In 2021, our scholarship is being awarded to Nayeli Franco Aguayo. Congratulations, Nayeli. I'll be in touch soon to send you details about the scholarship. Every year, the medical staff of Sutter Amador awards scholarships to high school seniors who express an interest in pursuing a career in healthcare. This year's recipients from Argonaut High School are Kate Johnson and Casey White. Congratulations and welcome to a great calling. The medical staff at Sutter Amador Hospital hopes to see you alongside them in caring for our community in the future. Hi, my name is Stinson Womack. I graduated from Argonaut back in 2007. After leaving Argonaut, I went and got my bachelor's at Sacramento State and then went to dental school at Western University. After I graduated from dental school, I decided to return home. Thanks to my experiences at Argonaut and throughout our local community, I now have the chance to pay it forward. This is our first year that we are offering a scholarship here from Womack Family Dentistry. And I'm very excited and proud to announce that this year our scholarship winner is Ms. Lauren White Bierman. Congratulations, Ms. Lauren, and good luck to all of your future endeavors. This year marked the first year of the Buena Vista Rancheria Community Fund Scholarship. This year, the Rancheria asked seniors from Amador County High Schools to write about their experience during a pandemic. They were thrilled and humbled with the responses they received and are hoping to carry on this annual tradition with new topics every year. It's wonderful to be part of a community that has so many star students. The recipients this year are Isaiah Cortez, Andre King, Garrett Elmore, Anna Rose, Sharice Carney, Riley Hanna, and Zach Hernandez. Congratulations to each one of you for paving the way. Volcano Communications Group, in memory of James W. Welch, is pleased to award three scholarships this year. Mr. Welch was a hardworking innovator who worked tirelessly during his lifetime to give local communities the best possible telephone service. Now the company is carrying on his legacy by striving to give its customers the best possible internet experience by extending the fiber optics in its backbone all the way to customers' houses. Since the inception of this scholarship program, Volcano Communications Group has been pleased to award over $100,000 to hardworking students in our local communities. Congratulations and all our best to our graduates. This year's scholarship, $500 to each student. The recipients are Samantha Longero, Aaron Onetto, and Casey White. Congratulations to each of you. 
Hi, my name is Tim Murphy. I'm president of the Sutter Creek Community Benefit Foundation. I'm here today to announce the winner of our 2021 scholarship. The scholarship winner for Argonaut High School this year is Ms. Anna Rose. Congratulations. Hello and good evening. I'm Matt King, the head track and field coach, and I'm here to present the annual John Preto Track and Field Athletic Award to a deserving senior athlete. First, I'd like to say a couple things about John Preto. John coached track and cross country here um, at Jackson and Argonaut from 1977 to 2002. Since his retirement from coaching, John is still very active in track and field. He began officiating with USA Track and Field in 2002 and became a member of the California State Starters Association in 2010. He's currently officiating and starting at the high school and collegiate level. Uh, thank you, John, for all you've done here at Argonaut and everything you continue to do for the track and field community. The athlete that is receiving this award tonight is extremely competitive hardworking and dedicated, not just in track and field, but in everything he does. He has completed all four years working hard to better himself and those around him and has taken pride in being the best he can be. On behalf of myself, Coach Huckins, Coach Ding, and Coach Hubby, I'm honored to present this award to Zach Hernandez. Congratulations, Zach. We are all very proud of you. Hi, I'm Gary Lanigan, the head wrestling coach here at Argonaut High School and have been for the past 19 years. In those 19 years, I've had a lot of great athletes come through the program. This year is a special kid as far as the amount of dedication that he has put into this program is above anybody that I've ever coached. And it is a great honor that I award this year's 2021 Senior Wrestling Award to Caden Winther. Congratulations, Caden. Hi, I'm Scott Huckins. I'm the athletic director here at Argonaut High School, and this year I get to award two of our finest athletes the Dan Bakalovich Most Outstanding Athlete Award. But before I do that, I want to talk a little bit about athletics in general. Um, COVID-19 uh, sort of turned us upside down this year. We didn't know if we were going to have any athletics, or we didn't know if our kids were going to be able to compete. In spite of that, all of our athletic teams began practice like there would be a season. Kids showed up every day, worked hard, coaches uh, modified their programs, just with the hope that they could compete. Our athletes show courage, resilience, commitment, grit, anything you could ask for an individual. And then February, we got the green light that we could play and it was a joy to watch our kids play. They were out there having a good time, coaches were enjoying themselves. It was just a, a joy to see athletics at its purest point. And sometimes when there's a, a dark cloud over you, a shiny light comes through and the ability of our kids to take something that could have been disappointing and make it great was just a, a testament to our athletics here at Argonaut High School. Our first Dan Vakalovich winner is our female athlete. Uh, this young lady was a member of our girls golf team for four years, a member of our co-ed tennis team for four years, played one year of varsity soccer, uh, was a two-time member of our girls basketball team, uh, was a nine-time Mother Load League all-academic team member, uh, was twice selected as team captain and played three sports three times during her high school career. It's a pleasure to announce Kate Johnson as the female athlete of the year. Next is our male athlete of the year. Um, he was a member of our Argonaut football team for four years, four-year member of the Argonaut basketball team, four-year member of the Argonaut baseball team. Um, this year he took advantage of the pandemic and also competed on our soccer team and our football team simultaneously. Um, he's an eight-time member of our all-academic team, and he's been a three-sport athlete for four years in a row. It is my pleasure to announce Andre King as the Male Athlete of the Year. Thanks, guys, and congratulations. My name is Mike Roots, and I am announcing the winner of the Buford Roots Male Athlete of the Year, which is Patrick Hauser. He was a four-year member of the soccer team, a four-year member of the varsity tennis team, member of the 2021 varsity soccer team, which finished the season with a school and league best at 6-1-1 one one record. He was a 2019 MLL boys tennis singles champion, 2019 first team all MLL in tennis, and in 2021, he ran on the cross country team. 
Congratulations, Patrick. My name is Mike Roots. I am announcing the Buford Roots Female Athlete of the Year Award for Anna Rose. She was a two-time state cross-country qualifier. She's an eight-time member of the all-academic Molo League team in cross-country, tennis, and track. She's elected to the cross as the cross-country team captain twice. Um, 2019 subsection cross-country champion, Argonaut school record holder in the one mile, two mile, and the 5K. And she was also awarded the 2021 Dale Lackey CIF scholarship. Hi, I'm Scott Huggins. I'm the athletic director here at Argonaut High School. And this year we are lucky to have a recipient of the Dale Lackey scholarship, which is a section level scholarship, very competitive. With the Dale Lackey Scholarship, each school in our league nominates a boy and a girl athlete. Our league picks one boy and one girl athlete to be sent off to the section level. This year we had a female athlete, Anna Rose, be selected. Anna, as I read through her application, was an impressive young woman. God, what a, what a joy it was to see her grow from a freshman to a senior on the, on the cross country course. Um, I read through her application and saw a letter by Coach Cameron Dugan. And there's this excerpt from it I want to read that I think describes Anna perfectly. Cross country is a quirky bunch, but we are a family. Energy like Anna's binds us together through good times and bad, even a global pandemic. As a team captain, Anna attracts new runners and galvanizes the team and sets us on course for success. Her legacy is not the record she leaves behind, past which others will strive to reach but the joy in the faces of the young runners she trains as they overcome fear. That's leadership. And Anna is a quiet leader. She's an amazing young woman, and we are lucky to have her represent Argonaut High School as the Dale Lackey recipient. And Anna, you don't know this, but we've got $500 scholarship for you this year. Congratulations, Anna. This is Ms. Putnam, and it has been quite the year that brought us to the spring of 2021, where we finally start to see our peers, our classmates, our friends again, and out of a year that very few of us will ever get to experience in one lifetime. I want to thank all of our sponsors, committees, and staff, as well as the rest of those who participated to make this happen. To all of our students who were awarded, Look around you to see how you got to where you are and make sure you thank those who supported, funded, and selected you. They will be thinking of you long after you are gone from this campus. Thank them. Remember them. And when you get a moment in the whirlwind that is your lives, write them. It is how you thank your supporters that helps them confirm their choice. I'll be contacting each of our winners to help them navigate the process that is ahead of them. We are all so very proud of them and wish them a wonderful future. If there is one thing that I can impress upon them, it is read your email. Go Mustangs.